Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in Total War 3 Kingdoms. Uh, before going inside of the game or in the config file, just want to make sure that you uh, have your Windows proper uh, a proper configuration to play your game. So first of all, the famous game mode, search for it, open it. Make sure that game mode is at off. It's causing a lot of issue with um, with all, almost all the video games, honestly, except maybe the one that you will play in the uh, Windows Store. Uh, game bar. Make sure that game bar also is at off. Really important. The other thing that um, I recommend uh, for you guys using it's the standby list purge. Um, the software called Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Uh, it's the guy who did uh, DDU, so it's legit. It's not a bloatware. It's pretty, um, it's, it's not taking a lot of RAM, so it's pretty uh, light. Uh, I will show you the, I will put the link in the, my video description. So it will purge your standby list automatically and also you can do it manually. So you will not have any issue with your memory when you're playing a game. A lot of people add like crazy stuttering on the Division 2 uh, Battlefield 5 and this uh, helps a lot. So now let's go inside of the game. So for the graphic parameter, first of all, you need to make sure that you're playing at custom. And for the resolution, it depends whatever normally you play. After all, the change I will show you if you still don't get your 60, uh, your 60 or whatever, your 144, uh, you will probably need to lower your resolution. So first of all, texture quality, I'm playing at Ultra. As you can see, my graphic card has like uh, 8 gig. So for me, it's not a huge issue. If you have 3 gig, go with high, 2 gig at medium, and less than 2 gig at low. Also, for the people who's playing on the laptop, make sure that if, for example, if you have a 1050 from Nvidia, and also you have an integrated video card because of your Intel processor, make sure that you're seeing your graphic card here. A lot of people have issues sometimes, they're playing on their, their integrated video card and they don't use the, the proper GPU and they asking why they are lagging. So this is the cause. After that shadow detail, this one is huge. Put this one at off, you will gain like 12 to 15% of increase for your FPS. So remove all the shadow in this game and you will see a lot more FPS. VFX, uh, you will pro put this one at low. If you have a lot of issue when you're fighting, a lot of drop of FPS, this is pr pretty much because of this one. So this one, put this one at low. Tree detail, really important too. 3% for increase for each bracket. Put this one at medium, it will help you a lot. Uh, unit detail, it's not a big increase, honestly, medium or high, it's pretty much the, the same. Uh, it's like one person for each bracket, so not a huge deal. Screen space reflection, remove this, always remove this in your video games. Anti-aliasing, I'm using FXAA. Uh, when I'm putting it off, I did a couple of tests. It's not that great. You will see a lot of like line breaking and stuff like that. So I'm using the the, the, the lighter one, the FXAA. But the only thing is, uh, if you have, a, again, an, an integrated video card, a laptop, an old desktop, maybe you will need to remove your anti-aliasing. Texture filtering, make sure that you're uh, matching with your texture quality. So if you're at ultra, go 16 or 8. If you're at I, 8 or 4, blah, 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 blah. And if you're at low, use 3 linear. Uh, grass detail, this one is kind of important also, it's pretty much like tree, so you will gain 3% for each bracket, put this one at low. Terrain detail, it's a little bit less, 2% for each bracket, this one I'm putting at medium. Building detail will have the same um, effect on your FPS than unit detail, so it's pretty much 1% for each bracket. Unit size, this one is really important too, more important than almost uh, the shadow. It's the unit size that you will see when uh, you're playing. So, uh, by the way, they're saying if you have to change it, uh, you will um, you need to uh, restart your campaign. So, really important to know which one they're gonna use. So, use the benchmark here to make sure that everything is working properly. Uh, you will see a huge like uh, boost. It's like four to five percent for each bracket. This. Uh, depend on your CPU. If you have a really good CPU, not really uh, a good uh, GPU, you can play at large. But if your CPU is old and bad, uh, probably you will need to lower this. Depth of fill, I really don't like this effect. And also it will give you a couple of FPS. Put this one at off. Make sure that you're removing ambient occlusion, ambient occlusion screen space shadow. So uncheck everything here and it will give you another 6 to 7% of FPS. So for after that, make sure that you confirm 
and now we will go in the config file. To find the config file, it's on your uh, C drive, users, uh, the name of your computer, app data, roaming, the creative, assembly, tree kingdoms, script. And after that, you have a file called preference script. Open it with notepad plus plus or notepad. It's uh, kind of pain in the ass, honestly, the file, <laughs> as you can see, it's not like uh, you, you, it's tough to read it. But a couple of stuff that you need to make sure that you're not using. So first of all, um, to do, do, do distortion. So sky quality, you can change it here. They're saying like if you're using zero, it's low, three, it's ultra. So you, you can figure it out, you know. Um, tessellation also that I can see right now. I don't know why. So you have a lot of options, honestly, that you can look that are not in your game. And those one you want to change them. Tessellation, okay, it's over there. So tessellation, make sure this one is at false. It will help you a lot. And on the AMD card, it will help you <laughs> a lot more. Um, yeah, and pretty much that's about it. You have the lighting also that you can change. So make sure that you're at zero. Um, it will help you a lot if you have like an entry level uh, computer. So that's about it, guys. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Make sure that you save your file also, and make sure that you're blocking the file because you don't want to. Uh, you don't want the game overriding your um, your parameter. So really important. And uh, yeah, if you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, everyone.